What's up guys, HP came out with a direct competitor to the Microsoft Surface 8 Pro. It's a tablet that can be transformed in a second to a full laptop. It's aimed at business professionals that care about portability and style. Of course, this comes at a steep price of $2500, but let's check it out in detail. The tablet and keyboard are made out of aviation grade aluminium and they look indeed premium. The back of the keyboard is a grey texture rubber that imitates leather. The speed resistant keyboard is also backlit and has two levels of brightness. It has a click pad with multi gesture support, typing is pretty comfortable and it doesn't have too much sway while pressing. There is a Wacom touchpad included which has two configurable buttons and it's really accurate while drawing with over 2000 levels of pressure sensitivity. The pen is magnetic and it sticks pretty well to the left side of the tablet. The hinge in the back is 150 degrees up tilt and is designed to withstand 5 years of 8 openings per day. Specs are pretty solid too with an 11th gen i7 with 4 cores and 8 threads that goes up to 4.8 GHz. 16GB of RAM and a 256GB NVMe SSD. It really zips through all apps I threw at it. For connectivity we have Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5 and 3 USB-C ports on the right side. We don't get a microSD card reader or HDMI ports, but it does come with a USB-C to a display port adapter and also each of the USB-C ports can be used for charging. I do advise in using it with a Bluetooth mouse so you don't have to stick a USB-C to USB-A adapter in one of the available ports. On the left side we have the audio jack and the volume buttons plus the Kensington lock port. The power button is situated on the top along with two microphones and the air vents as the tablet does have a small cooler that can be heard when the CPU is put under stress, when idling is totally silent. This tablet has a 13-inch gorgeous touchscreen display with an almost 4K resolution of 3000 by 2000 pixels. It's an IPS panel protected by Gorilla Glass 5 and it has 450 nits of brightness. I like the fact that it's a 3 by 2 aspect ratio which gives you so much more vertical space in apps. The resolution is higher than the MacBook Retina display and the aspect ratio is perfect for the 35mm photography, it's absolutely incredible to be able to see and work with all of my full frame photos at native resolution. The display is driven by the graphics integrated in the CPU, the Intel Iris Xe, and can be perfectly used not only for photo editing and other light tasks, but even for some older games. I will do a separate video on this to test the gaming capability of this tablet. On each side of the screen we have the dual stereo speakers tuned by Bang & Olufsen. They sound loud and crisp enough, but they do lack some bass as usual with tablet speakers. The tablet has two cameras, one Full HD on the front and an 8 megapixel one on the back and this can be masked by a privacy slider, a nice little touch, useful nonetheless. There's also another microphone near the back camera and also a fingerprint reader. As far as camera's quality is concerned, as expected, it's really low resolution, but ok for video conferencing and it's passable even in low light. The battery is internal and cannot be replaced. It's a 2 cell 47 watts hour with fast charging and can be charged to 50% in 30 minutes with the included 65 watt AC adapter. In my testing the battery lasted around 3 hours of intense use, 
but in lighter usage you might get more than double of that. Let's talk about the cons and pros of this tablet. First of all, I don't like the fact that it's not light enough, with 1.3 kilograms being the same as some other 14-inch laptops. The camera quality could be better, the battery life is average, and the touchpad could be faster, as I do like the ones from laptops which also include left and right click buttons. Also, a USB-A port could be useful, as there are a lot of peripherals that don't use USB-C and an adapter takes away portability. But I don't think these cons are deal breakers, as this device also hits a lot of things right. It's slim and well made, the stand is highly adjustable, it has enough processing power to handle intense apps like photo editing, the stylus is really accurate, it comes with HP security apps, the fingerprint scanner works well and the keyboard is really high quality. Because of the fast specs, it could even be used with an external GPU for high demanding games. Overall, the HP Lite X2 is an excellent tablet and I do recommend it for power users on the go. But when compared to the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 tablet, even if it has a better build quality especially for the keyboard, the X2 still falls short on some aspects, as the screen is only 60Hz compared to the 120Hz of the Surface Pro, it's heavier, the battery lasts less and it has slower graphics. The Surface Pro also has better camera quality and removable SSD. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and as always, drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next one.